Donald Trump fulfilling a promise today, uh, putting out a list of uh, a bunch of names, a bunch of uh, people who are currently sitting on the bench, uh, and uh, saying that these are the people he would consider nominating to the U.S. Supreme Court uh, should he become president of the United States. What, what were your impressions when uh, you saw this list? Well, they're all relatively unknown. They're all quite conservative. They all clerk for conservative judges or justices. They're all white. They sound like a list of very good speakers at a Federalist convention. The Federalist is a conservative legal organization. He certainly has kept his promise to the conservatives. There is not a single moderate or liberal on the list. They're all conservative. They're all qualified. There are no unqualified people on the list. There are people who would be confirmed by a Republican Senate and probably have difficulty being confirmed by a Democratic Senate. It's the same list, I think, that uh, President uh, Bush would have probably proposed. It's the same list that, you know, any any conservative Republican president would propose. It comes largely from the Heritage Foundation. These are not people that uh, that uh, Donald Trump has ever heard of uh, or ever met. Um, these are names that are given to him by conservative legal scholars, and they're you know, they're, they're, they're acceptable names. They're nothing exciting. Uh, they're not, uh, you know, one would say not among the most distinguished jurists in the world. But then again, they're not uh, um, mediocre. Um, I mean, they're, they're good, solid, conservative judges who would get confirmed. This is a very kind of academic group. It's not, they're not Trump's kind of people. They're not the kind of people Trump would be comfortable with, and that surprises me a little bit. I think it's a, it's a very defensive list. It's a list that says, see, I'm a conservative. I'm being cautious. There's nobody on the list that's in any way risky, and I'm myself disappointed that he didn't put some practicing lawyers uh, on the list.